Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to use Firebase storage to send images in a chatting application created using Firebase real-time database. For this, we need to have rules read true, write true in Firebase real-time database and similarly in Firebase storage also, we need to have allow read write if true. So you have to change this allow read write if true in Firebase storage. Now let's move to our Sketchware app. Here I have already created an application. It is a simple application in which we can send images as messages. So here in the Sketchware, we have to enter all these things Firebase project ID, app ID, API key and Firebase storage bucket URL as in the Firebase website as in Firebase settings. So we have to enter all these things and enable Firebase. After enabling this, we have to just save this. Now here you can note that this Firebase storage bucket URL is same as Firebase storage project ID dot appspot.com. Only appspot.com is at the end. So we have to save all these things. After this, now I will tell you how I have created this. I have this list view for displaying the messages, list view one. Then I have this button one for picking image from gallery. I have this image view 100 for displaying the selected image. I have this edit text one for writing message and this send button, which is button two, which will send the contents of edit text one. And if there is an image, it will also send the image. Now this list view is a custom list view. And for this, I've created a custom view, which is child.xml. This contains an image view, image view one, and a text view which is text view one. Now let's go back to main.xml. Here for this list view, I have selected child.xml as the custom view. Now let's move to components. Here I have added three components. One is a file picker component which is fpick image. Then I have added this Firebase storage component fstore folder one. Folder one is the folder which will be created in Firebase Storage once I send an image. After this is the Firebase DB component, which is FDB test chat. Now test chat is the path which will be created in Firebase database once a message is sent. Now let's move to logic area. Here I have added a number variable image. I have set this number variable to image. I have set this number variable to zero or one based on whether any image is selected or being sent or not. So if an image is not being sent, it will be zero. And if an image is being sent, it will be one. So initially I have set this image number variable image to zero and I have make, I have made the image view hundred gone means it will not be visible. It will not be seen. Now, next step is picking an image, which is button one. So on button one click, I have used this file picker component. F pick pick files for picking the image. I have used this file picker component. So when button one is clicked, it will display the gallery for picking images. Next, the event which will be executed is file picker on files picked. So when a file is picked, I have set this image number variable image to one means I have picked and file means I will be sending an image if I have picked an image. So that's why I have changed this image to one and I have made this image view visible, image view 100 visible. And I have set the image of image view 100 using this block set image from file path get at zero of listing file path here this listing file path is same as this listing file path and after that i have created two string variables one is image path and one is image name so i have set image path to the path from the path of I have set image path to the path of the selected image and I have set image name as the 
last segment path of the selected path so i hope you understood these here in order to use this block i have created a new list string called list and then i have used this block get at zero of listing listing file path so that's all in fpig on files picked now after picking the files if user the next thing which user does is enters some message in edit text 1 and then he sends the message using button 2 so next step is button 2 on button 2 click if image if the number variable image is equal to 0 means if the user has not picked any image then i have used this i have created a new map variable called map var and then i have created this new map i have put this key message and set its value as edit text 1 get text and then push this map variable to the firebase database and then clear this map variable and if it is if this image is not zero means if the user has picked an image from the gallery then in that case i have uploaded the image path and i have uploaded the image using its image path and image name now these image path and image name are the same which i had set in on files picked now after this so on button 2 click once i have uploaded once i upload this image path the image will get uploaded and the next event which will be executed is firebase storage on upload success so when the image is successfully uploaded then i will again use this map variable create new map and i i will put the contents of edit text 1 into this key message which is same as what i used in button 2 click and then i i will put this key image and its value will be the download url and i will push all these to firebase database so here if any image is selected i will be pushing two keys one is message and one other one is image and then i will clear this map variable and set the image to zero and make the image view 100 gone so this is on upload success now after upload success what i will do is the next i will move to the next event so once we push some data to the firebase database the next event will be firebase database on child added so once that data reaches the database this event will be executed here i have used the block firebase db get children to list map map list for this i have created a new map list a list map called map list and i have re i have retrieved all the data from firebase database to this map list and then i have displayed it in list view 1 now next is list view 1 on bind custom view in list view 1 on bind custom view i have set the text of text view 1 as get value at position key message of list map map list means all the i have displayed all the messages in text view 1 now in order to display the images I have used this block. If list map map list, if list map map list contains at position zero key image, contains at position key image. So this means that if the map list contains the key image at that position, only then make the image view one visible. and set the image of image view 1 from url get value at position key image of list map map list so this will display the image in image view 
if the map list contains the URL. If the map list doesn't contain URL at that position, then image view one will not be visible. That's all here and that's all in this app. Now let's check this. Okay, here is this app. It doesn't contain any message at present. Now let's enter a message without any image. Let's say it is hello and send it. When I click send, it is, you can see the message above. Now, hello, how are you? Okay, now let me select an image. Here, when I click this button one, I can select an image from gallery. Now here I will go to photos, other albums and I will select an image from this app because these images are smaller so I will select this image which is PDF and here I will change this text to PDF and I will send this. Once I click send, it will upload the image. Once the image is uploaded, it will disappear from here and then it will appear in the messages. It takes some time to download, but after downloading, the message will appear. Now here, if I select any other image like this one and click send, it will first upload it and then once uploaded, it will get displayed here. Let me try with one more image. Yeah, this is a big image. Now this seems a small image, so I will try with this. Okay, here you can see that I can send messages, text messages as well as images in this chat application. So I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching this video.